hello guys and welcome to this video review from xenotrust so we're going to look at 11 platforms to create mobile apps without coding okay uh, so let's get right into it so what are the things you need to look out for before you decide to choose a platform to create your mobile apps without coding the first is pricing okay while there are some alternatives that give you the ability to create mobile apps codeless mobile apps for free um there are some really expensive um you know platforms out there so aside pricing what other thing you should look out for is the features okay so actually the features is what separates these platforms from one another okay and um also, it's important to check online for reviews from people that are already using the platforms. Okay. And then you want to ask yourself, do they have a money back guarantee? Well, a lot of platforms you see out there usually have like a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you um, pay for their platform or their service and you are not satisfied, you can request for your money. Okay. And they would cancel your service okay and this takes us back to review so um you want to you know check for reviews from people that are already using that platform to know if they keep their word on their money back guarantee also it's important to um, look out for their user interface and user experience okay so i've used some codeless mobile apps platform and i say that the user experience was really horrible for some Okay, so you want to check out for the overall user interface and user experience, okay? So this takes us back to the review. If you read some of the reviews online from people that already use the platform, you should see something about the US and the UI for those platforms, okay? So another feature you want to check out for is do they offer push notifications? Okay, so you have apps installed on your phone and sometimes you get like a notification um, on the top of your phone from a particular app okay so that's a way you can engage your users when you eventually create an app and it's important for your app success okay and then the last is you want to check if they have limits okay some platforms have some kind of limits on the number of people that can install your applications um, storage space and all of that so you want to make sure that you are clear on the limits they place on their platform or their pricing plans before you subscribe okay okay so um one more thing i don't have on this list is ads okay you want to check if they um give you the ability to um incorporate google ads i mean google ad mobs okay so your app can generate revenue okay and also you want to check if the uh, display ads if they maybe offer a free plan you want to check if they display ads on the apps you create and how bad or how intrusive their ads are okay so those are the things you probably should look out for before you decide on a platform so now let's go and see the platforms but before then if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button i create tutorials around tech and stuff like that all right let's get into it so the first platform i'm going to um, look at here is api pie okay so api pie the are quite popular in the mobile app development market and they claim to be trusted by more than 7 million businesses worldwide okay they have a reseller plan but first let's see their pricing plan so um well they are not too expensive they have a starter plan a starter plan a basic plan rather um that goes for 18 dollar per app per month okay well, if you look at it from the per app per month basis, then it's pretty expensive because if you have like three apps, then you're going to be paying $18 times three. Okay, so that's kind of expensive. Okay, but then um, the, with this plan, they will not display any ads on your, um, what's it called, on your application. Okay, and then they have a good plan. So, but then for the basic plan, they do not offer premium features so you want to go ahead and check um, their list of premium features before you subscribe um, to this plan and they also offer unlimited app editing and number of push notifications per month 
ten thousand. Okay, so those are the things we talked about in the initial lecture. Okay, and let's see, let's see, do they offer Google Ads? Okay, so I don't see anything about Google Ads here. Okay, so but you just want to make sure you go through before you decide that um you want to go with these guys. But interestingly, they have a free trial plan. Okay, so you can do the free trial and see if it's um a service you want to subscribe to all right let's go to the next one the next one here is andromo okay so andromo these guys too um i've known them for like two years yeah and they are pretty popular like maybe a year and six months i've known them and um, essentially they had a free plan in the past but i think they scrapped that free plan so let's just take a look at their pricing so um they are minimum pricing is eight dollar per month which seems kind of fair but let's see the downsides to it so with eight dollar per month you cannot monetize your app with let's say google ad mob okay and but you can deploy 30 projects and they give you a space of memory of two gig okay and you can publish to google and amazon so there is no ios publishing here um let's see no ad mob no facebook ad so we said that already and then they also have this andromo branding that will be placed on your app so um well <laughs> you need to check and see if that is something you can live with but then they have other plans that give you more features okay so like this um they are pro plan for 21 dollars you can place google ad mob and even facebook ads on your app okay so let's just go to the next one so this is app institute okay um app institute they are also a big app development company in the um, codeless mobile app development um, ecosystem okay so um let's see i think i was in their pricing plan just now let me just go back to their pricing plan so we can see so for their pricing plan the minimum plan they have is 42 dollars per month okay and let's see i think they have some really interesting features so you can actually have a progressive web app okay for with this platform okay and you can have it on a custom domain okay so um what else you have push notifications and they actually give you support by email and live chat okay but then you can go ahead and check out some of their um, more robust plan they have a reseller plan for three hundred and forty dollars per month so if you are looking at having your own um, mobile app development um, company kind of you can check out their reseller plan and see what they offer okay so let's go to the next one and this is game salad so game salad is uh, an app development platform essentially they are focused on helping people create mobile app games or mobile games rather okay so um and they are pretty expensive let's see their pricing should be somewhere let me just okay so for some reason i cannot find their pricing here so but i'm sure if you um you know play around the websites you will see something about their pricing um without wasting any more that any time let's go to the next um company so this is app perry.io and let's see okay so pricing and sign up so let's just see what they offer so the minimum beginner plan is 25 dollars per month okay and with 25 dollars per month you can deploy two apps and essentially um this is what they offer so they have a 70 dollar plan a 135 dollar plan and a 500 dollar plan so um the interesting thing here is that they also have a free trial plan so before you commit yourself you can go ahead and try their 14-day um, free trial and see if their service is something you can live with okay uh, okay so let's go to the next one this is swift tick 
Com, okay. Um, let's see their pricing. So the minimum plan for Swiftic.com is thirty nine dollar per month, okay. But if you decide to pay yearly, you get a discount. So you pay thirty three dollars per month, and if you even decide to pay two yearly, you go for you pay twenty nine dollar per month. But the 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 thing now is that they also have a thirty day money back guarantee. Okay, um, you notice that the previous platform we've been seeing offer a free trial, but this one they offer a thirty day money back guarantee. So if you subscribe to this plan and you are not um you are not comfortable with you know the features or any other thing, you can actually request for your money back. But don't forget to check their customer reviews to see if they actually um live by their word okay just to be on the safe side so this is app gazer okay app gazer has a free plan okay but um the free plan has like they display ads on your app okay and essentially you can create apps for free on app gazer but they have a they have a ad sharing you know um, algorithm on their platform so um let me just i don't think they have a pricing i don't think they have it they have a pricing page here so you only get to see their pricing after you've logged in i think i used their platform sometime last year okay um so but if you if you want them to stop displaying ads on your app then i think it starts from ten dollars per month okay but you can actually um, confirm that okay so but Essentially, you can create apps for free. The only thing to note is that you display ads and they display ads on your app, okay? And sometimes, some customers have complained that their ads are kind of intrusive and stuff like that. So, you may want to do your research properly before you start creating apps with these guys, okay? All right. So, this is Build Fire, okay? So, um, Build Fire has, like, different plans it's a really robust platform for app creation okay and as you can see they have three plans here so this is growth business and enterprise um but like i said it's a really robust um app development platform so if you want to really go into app development platform as a business then you can consider working with build fire um yeah so let's go to the next one so this is adalo all right so adalo has a free plan okay but the thing about the free plan is that you don't get to publish on google play store and the apple app store you only get to publish on adalo domain okay so it's almost like a web app kind of so but then you can use the free plan to just see how the platform works and if it's something you're comfortable with you can go ahead and upgrade to the pro plan okay and also don't forget to look at the features for the pro plan to make sure that it's something you are okay with before you subscribe okay because i do not see any money back guarantee here so um, just make sure that you're comfortable with what they offer you can actually contact their customer care before you sign up okay so let's look at the last two so the last two plans um are they offer free plans and paid plans okay of course there's always some limits when you're you're working with a free plan on any platform so let me just go to the pricing so this is glide and the website is glideapps.com so i'll go to the pricing and you see that they offer a free plan but um essentially this glide platform you can create apps from google spreadsheets but the free plan has some limitations so 100 mb of file storage um 10 percent transaction fee and well you also get a glide.io domain so it's like um you know maybe if the name of your app is example app so you get like example.glideapp.io so that's like the glide.io domain they're talking about okay so but then if you upgrade then you can get some more um space on your accounts to do more stuff okay so you can go ahead and check out glide.io and i'm sure you can find some tutorials here on youtube um as to how you can you know 
create apps with this so this is like some apps that you know people created using glide.io and i think they are nice okay so um let's look at the last one and the last one is app sheets okay so app sheets um the, the their initial pricing actually starts from five dollar okay but i think they have a free plan also so if i they have it they actually have a free plan so if you click on start for free you can then see how you can start creating your app from um, your google sheet and other stuffs okay all right so that's where you get your data from for the apps okay so um essentially you can go ahead and check out all these platforms that we've looked at and see which one you think you can you know work with or you can benefit from okay now there is an app development platform that is actually free okay but i i was not quite impressed with the layout and um the user interface user experience of the apps you create so i decided not to add it in this review okay so uh thank you so much for watching this review um if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe and see you later.